Right, let's have a look at changing the soap dispenser on a Bosch dishwasher. Um, there's a bit of food residue, but you have to ignore that because it, it broke on the last wash and I said to the wife, don't put any more in there because I'll fix it. Well, she don't put dirty dishes in there. So she's a fool. But other than that, I've got my new one here. Slightly different design, but it should fit. Um, I couldn't find any part number on this dishwasher, so I just had to guess and uh, ordered that one. So you need a T20 thingamajig here um, to undo these screws here. Only these ones. That one, that one, and that one at the end, and the same on the other side. Not these top ones. You only piss off. You only need to undo these side ones, not the top ones. Yeah. So let's have a look and uh, undo those. So once you've undone those, this front panel should. Uh, be loose and should slide off just like that. There's the front bit, and here is Mr. Soap Dispenser. Um, never taken this one apart before, it's a little bit grubby in there, but I have to clean it up before I put it back anyway. So, what we need to do is you need to unplug this little connector here and unplug this one here. Remember. Well, there's only two wires. Try and remember which way round this goes. And try and obviously that'll only go on one way. And then we need to try and pry it off using these little tabs either side. There's one there, and there's a couple underneath there and there. And there'll be another one on top as well. And then we should be able to get it out. Well, when you've pried all them little pry them little clips off around there, you should better open it up and then just take the old one out. And then it's the reverse to put the new one in. Fairly simple, really. You just got to make sure that you clean around that seal to make sure that you get a good seal because you don't want it leaking, do you? So clean around there and make sure you get a good seal. You should be all ha handy and dandy. Still got a bit of rinse aging now, I'm going to try and get that out. Don't want to waste that, do I, eh? Sweet! And obviously once you've got that in, make sure that all these little clips are down. All clipped around. All in, holding it all in place, all the way around. Um, the little, the little thing what tells you when you need to add rinse aid was here on my old one. On this new one, it's at the bottom. But luckily the little wire reached all the way around. Put that wire back on there. And it should be handy dandy now. All that's left to do is to give it a test. But just got to put the front back on and I'm going to give it all the clean up first though. Because I've never taken the front off of this one and there's a bit of dirt and everything around here. So, but yeah, it's fairly simple. Anyone that wants to, you know, take this on, um, it's fairly simple to do. So, you know, it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take you too long, it's taken me, bearing in mind I've been filming bits in between, but it's taken me about five minutes, literally. So, simple, simple job, no problems at all. Just got to hope this new thing, this new one works. <laughs> Pain in the arse, otherwise. Anyway, there you go, easy job for you to uh, attempt.